Oh, 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 it affected me much more than I thought it would, and I found it much more difficult to recover from you know those difficulties. Jeremy, down, yeah. down, down. Uh, than I thought it would, you know, and it led me to, you know, becoming homeless and becoming suicidal and hopeless. Um, you know, really, you know, led me um, to the the depths of despair. You know, struggling to stay alive. You know, there were a lot of times when... Yeah, you know, I just thought that, um, you know, that life was over. get some treatment, whatever that meant, maybe go on, you know, have a whinge to a counsellor for, you know, three or four times and then I'd be okay again. Almost immediately upon being back in Afghanistan, I started having flashbacks again and like panic attacks and, you know, eventually it got worse such that I thought that I would be like an impediment to, to my mates. It just seemed realistic. I thought, you know, I can't, can't be a soldier, I can't do the job, so um, I should get out. Like from, from an outsider looking in, what happens is I just become a maniac. <laughs> it's a really nice you know, track around the, around the lake here at Narrabeen, but um, it, it reminds me of, of, of Afghanistan, you know. And I find myself, you know, like I'm scanning, you know, and, you know, sort of looking at who's coming, you know, like expecting, you know, is it going to be the Taliban coming around the corner? And, um, and I think people kind of feel that, you know.